Free Smiles, episode 249, I believe. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of our free-to-play series. 100% free-to-play, by the way. All right, let's see what's going on. Nothing interesting in the shop for me. As you guys know, I am going for the Thor Fusion, of course. I hope a lot of you guys are, and as you can see, we have a lot of shards saved up. This is the over the course of like two, three months of saving, I think. Uh, voice shards, I skipped down on like the most recent 2x event that took place, and I was like, I'm just going to keep saving. Because I didn't want to go for the Odin at the time. But there is a 2, or not a 2x, there's a 15x progressive summons taking place. And we have to do this, guys. Because, as I mentioned already, we're going for Thor, right? We did finish out our Odin's trial tournament here too. And I ended up just going for the whole thing because I saw two Immortal Soul Stones like available and I guess I ended up going fourth place. Oh, that would have been sweet if I got to third. That would have been really nice. It is what it is. Let's collect this. We got an Ancient Shard out of the way. And I did end up doing the entire Dungeon Divers as well that was just here. But we we did all of it because I wanted to go for another Immortal Soul Stone in there. So now we have two Immortal Soul Stones saved up just in case there's a Deck of Fate event that takes place because you need to be able to summon Soul Stones. And I'm assuming that's how you're going to be able to get a Freya as far as like fragments in there that you can collect to get the champion. I don't think there's anything else that's really... Oh, I do have a lot of stuff I got to sort through. As I said, I've been farming a lot of Odin Dungeon. And I did dip into like a thousand of my gems yesterday just so I can try to get all the dungeon divers done. And excuse me. And um, I guess like this, I'm just trying to do along. Yeah, just go with it. I'm not really trying to get it done per se, but um, just whatever I can get, I guess. And yeah, with that being said, let's get right to it, guys. We have six shards we need to summon in order to get this fragment here. Or, yeah, this fragment piece here. And six, yeah, 3,000 points you need to be able to summon. The best way to do this is sacred shards, hands down. It's either that or the mystery shards. Ancient shards, no, don't do it. Voice shards, I mean, if there's like a progressive summons you want to go for, then I guess. But other than the Sephirion, I didn't really see anything else worth going for. Primal shards, I mean, probably not the best time to summon your primal shards, to be honest. Save that for like 2x events, right? 2x uh, Primal Shard event. But yeah, normally Sacred Shards, I always try to save it for this Summon Rush because that's the best, like, in my opinion, that's like the best usage out of them as far as points goes, right? Of course, if you have a 2x Summons taking place, then that's also enticing. But at this point, I just I just wanted to save my Sacred Shards. So uh, we're just going to keep piling them. But unfortunately, we do have to take a little dip into it and summon six. So let's see what's available here. Elva, I do have a fantastic champion, guys. She's really, really good, like, overall, everywhere. Um, I mean, she's really good in uh, Doom Tower, uh, Faction Wars. You could use her for Arena. She's really, really good in... Uh, where, where do I use her? I think I think right now I use... Oh, Hydro Boss. Yeah, Hydro Boss is where I mainly use her. She's also solid in um, the, uh, the Siege as well. No, not the Siege. The Cursed, right? Cursed City. So that's another area you can utilize her too. Pytheon, another solid champion. Support, very similar to like a Duchess. She's more... Elvis is kind of similar to like a Siffy, I would say. She's kind of like a mixture of a Siffy and a Sile of the Drakes, in a, in a way, kind of. Um, and Pytheon is kind of like a Duchess, basically. Uh, this champion, I mean, she's... Uh, I mean... I mean, she's a decent support champion, I guess. I don't think there's too much to talk about. I mean, revives, that's great. Timid's nothing to, like, go on about, I guess. I don't know. She's okay. But uh, another ch a solid champion here, Molly, who is also great with the Provokes. You could use her in Arena. You could use her in Magma Dragon. Um, she does have revive as well. And yeah, pretty cool champion. Provoke is cool. But the prize here is definitely going to be this champion here. Now, she was part of the fusion a while back, but I would like to go for another copy of her because I would like to fill up my faction uh, guardian slots a little bit more. And eventually, if I can plus four empower her at some point, that would be really sick. So I wouldn't mind getting another copy of her. And over here, I already have all these champions, but these are all solid support champions. Really, really great. 
Rector Giraffe is great. Support Champion. Revives. I mean, Undead Faction is really... Um, you need you need to uh, revive in order to get that done easily for Faction Wars. And Ugo, is, of course, is a is a absolute beast. Really, really good. AoE defense down. Block buffs. Um, could potentially revive your entire team. Really good for um, Hydra Boss as well. So let's just... Uh, it, I don't really care who I get here, but... Um, yeah, let's just do it. So these are the champions I will target. And for voice shards, I don't think there's... Oh yeah, it was the Sulfurion. So other two great support champions. So let's get out of there. And we're just going to do Sacred Shards and that's it. I could even do five Sacred Shards and 500 Mystery Shards, but I don't want to do all that. Let's do six. So if I could get an Anchor or... Is there... Oh my god, her name is... Uh, oh... Yeah, Ankora, Ankora, yeah, White Queen Ankora, so that's what it is. So if I could get another one of her, that'd be awesome. So yeah, other than that, um, as far as like champions I would want, I still don't have a Duchess. I would love to get a, uh, uh, what's the, what's the Shadowkin dude with the green flames? I forgot his name. Oh my gosh, I'm like brain farting. But yeah, that guy, really good for Hydra Boss as well. I would love to get him. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else at the top of my head. I guess another copy of Armas would be cool. So let's do it. Here we go. Plarium, please bless this account. Oh, right off the bat. Legendary. Oh, Samson. He's new. I don't have him at all. Wow, we actually got a legendary, guys. I was not expecting one. I believe I am like four into pity at the moment. But yeah, uh, start on the A1. Okay. Is he an HP burn champion? Okay. I guess he hits okay. Uh, attacks all enemy, removes def increase defense, blast from enemies before attacking. Okay. Increase accuracy, increase crit damage for this champion for three turns, grants an extra turn. So, okay. I see. Decrease the damage this champion receives from critical is by 20%. Counter attacks, uh, critical has a 50% chance of counter attacking then. Okay. Um, I don't remember how hard he is, to be honest. I, I don't know if he hits very hard at all. Much? I mean, he should, right? Increase crit damage? I don't know. I, I don't remember, but pretty cool. Um, pretty cool champion to get. I didn't have him, so I wouldn't mind getting those champions, uh, the ones I don't have anyways. So new is always cool. It's uh, another one to add to my collection, but uh, stun right off the bat, really solid for, you know, controlling waves or controlling, you know, it's just crowd control is really, really good, especially in like, uh, I guess, Fashion Wars. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, cool. So Let's continue guys i was not expecting a legendary right there so continuing can we get another one back to back now we have a 20 percent chance of getting an encora so that would be really really nice okay this bear is not the good bear the black bear is a really good bear um this one is not so great uh but the black bear is really good in faction wars continuing so we got two now there's number three can we get another legendary though oh taragi this is actually one of my favorite epic champions i do have a guide on this video as far as him uh, doing the uh, fight against, I believe it was Scarab King. Yeah, it was Scarab King. Yeah, Green Affinity uh, Scarab King. Taraki's is really, really good because of his passive here. Um, yeah, just constantly putting poisons on that and then just staying alive basically. Attack down is really nice. AoE Provoke. Uh, he's got heals and ally protection capabilities as well. So he's really, really, really good. Like this guy's a solid, solid champion, especially, especially in Faction Wars. So continuing here, we that's number three, I believe, right? Can we get another legendary though? That'd be really dope. Come on, we got a 20% chance of getting Ankara as well. Gorlos is a pretty cool epic champion that uh, does hit pretty decent. I did do a guide on this video that surprisingly got a lot of views. Uh, but go check out that guide if you guys want to. But he does have a pretty decent uh, damage, I guess. Uh, continuing. I think this is number 5, I think. Come on, Plarium. Something amazing. <laughs> Alright, uh, support champion, Adriel. Alright, I believe this is the last one. Can we get a legendary? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. You know what would have been cool to pull? All right, this has been avoiding my account for a really long time. Like, where are these, man? These, the end of Moonbeam and the uh, Lady Quillen. Where are those? They, they just won't give me my uh, two epics so I can finish my Lady Makage. Like, if I had a Lady Makage, I mean, right now as is, I, I want Lady Makage mostly for uh, Fire Knight, hard, stage 10. I would love to fuse her at some point. Like, I got all the other hard stuff done, but I just can't get this, man. Two more epics here, and then I'm done. Like, they just keep giving me multiple copies of these guys, right? Look at this. Multiple copies, and I just... I can't get these. Those are avoiding my account. But, yeah, that's really cool. So, we got a brand new Legendary Champion from Skinwalkers, uh, Samson. 
Uh, I will build him at some point, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we got the summon rush done here out of the way now. And let's just go ahead and collect our energy as well. So I could... Wait, wasn't there supposed to be... Oh, maybe that was the... I thought there was a, a way to get more fragments from doing summon rush. Or... Hmm, I may have to take a look at the event again, but... I could have sworn there was like 50 additional fragments you can get from Summon Rush, or was it Champ Chase? Because I don't remember it being in Champ Chase. Unless they're doing a separate Summon Rush or Champ Chase next weekend, or sometime during this week, just to like, make people pull more shards, maybe? Maybe that's that's what it is? Guess. But, yeah, so I got, I've been doing all the events so far, so I haven't missed a single one. And if you've done every single event up to this point, 175 plus the... Uh, the 100 that I already used to fuse, then I just need five more events to complete, and I'm, that's it, done. So that's one more here, um, another one coming up here, that's two, and then three more, right? Champ Chaining, that's four, and Classic Arena, that's... Wait, did I miscount? One, two, three, wait, this two? <laughs> uh, three, four. So, okay, so there's one that isn't here. I don't remember what that was supposed to be. Oh, I think it's the... Uh, um ice golem was it because we had fire knight so far we had spider so far we had dragon so ice golem that's the last dungeon that we haven't uh, gotten just yet so that is the last one before yeah that, that should be the last one to top it off so let's see what rewards did we get from clan boss hopefully some sacred shards here to compensate to what i lost Ooh, we'll take the voice shard for sure five stars no thanks can we get another voice shard or sacred shard we got ancient not bad i'll take it i guess um what else did we get here we get voice shards and secret from here too more ancient shards and more ancient shards there we go okay and we also have some rewards here to collect too okay Oh, more of the little fragment pieces, the quartz, they call it. And we're going to get some more soul stones over here, which is always good. Okay. Six star legendary speed, HP percentage. And nothing really else here. HP percentage is always good. Five stars. Like five stars, I just, I don't care about at this point. As far as these sets goes anyways. The uh, the pinpoint though, I mean, if you get a quad speed or accuracy on a five star uh, pinpoint set, right? That's like a legendary, then that's definitely worth keeping. For now, until you farm enough. Oh. Oh, if there was like a crit damage in there instead of the HP right here. Oh, but it's, it's, still, it's actually still pretty decent as far as like for an HP nuker, right? If I want to uh, stack all this. Yeah, it's not bad. Another one. Oh, if that was speed or something, man, that would have been sweet. I mean, I could still reroll that if it quads or something. Okay, we'll just pass. Pass. All right. Now, let's take a look at Doom Tower. I am almost done with for this rotation. I just need to do this, two, three, four, by the time it recess, and then I'll be done with that. I already finished out the normal, and yeah, I think that's it for uh, as far as those things goes. Oh, right, guys, there's a brand new update I forgot, totally forgot to talk about. So here it is, guys. This is my player info. I customize it the way I want it to. I have Cardio on the front, who is, I don't know, I kind of, he's not my favorite champion by any means. Like, he's, I guess you could say he's my most used champion on my free-to-play count. All right, as far as my free-to-play count goes, I guess maybe Cardio is in the discussion as my favorite champion. Just because he was my first ever legendary I pulled on my account. And also because I've been using him forever on this account for like everything, like practically everything. So I guess he is uh, worthy of being my favorite champion, right? But... I don't know, he just looked the coolest on the player info out of like the ones I checked, so I was like, I gotta put him in there. But as far as my player like favorite champions goes, 
I probably shouldn't have Skullcrown in there because, I mean, she is my favorite epic champion. She is. But I, I didn't really have that same love for her on this account that I did on my, you know, my main account. Like, the reason why Skullcrown was my favorite champion is be, or my favorite epic champion is because I used her so much back in the day. Like, back then, if you had, if you pulled a Skullcrown, I was basically pulling a legendary because she was a massive nuker. Like, she was, I mean, she still is. Like, she's really, really strong until you know all these other op legendaries started coming out with like massive damage so yeah i mean she's not what she once was but she's still solid but i probably shouldn't even have her in there i don't know i kind of just left her in there but these are definitely three of my favorite champions on this account for sure cardio um i forgot her name <laughs> newt uh yeah I, how do i call in my favorite champion if i don't even know his name oh my gosh what a shame guys arch arch something you know arch oh god i'm gonna get flamed for this aren't i her name is uh where is it where are you oh there you are archer there we go something nerd okay archer she she is called archer all right what's her real name oh it just says r what does that stand for what r something r i don't even want to attempt nerd 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 gigante Ner Nerge Nerge Alright, Archer. She's my favorite champ. She's one of my favorite champions because I just really love her utility. She's so insane for Hydra Boss. Yeah, but that's my player card, guys. I, I love it. There it is. Um what else is new? So we do have a brand new uh UI here, right? You see this? It's so much more clean, right? So being able to see way more at a time. And also in the tavern as well, whenever you're like ranking up a champion or leveling a champion like now i can just you know like easy right before it was three so i was like i had to keep dragging keep dragging you know grab grab drag so it just took a while to do all that let me just go ahead and do that so yeah ui is way more better one thing i will say though is as far as the ui goes for the arena fights something seems kind of off i don't know if it's just me guys but i just i don't know how i like i don't know how i th think about this what do you guys think like it, it looks Okay, there's no boss on them, but it just, everything looks smaller. Like, even if I zoom in, it looks kind of, like, off. I don't know. Is it just me? Especially when they have boss on them, like, the boss are so tiny. Like, you gotta, sometimes you gotta squint to see which one it is. Or maybe not, but I'm just kind of nitpicking at this point. I don't know. It just, something seems off to me. I'm not sure, but let me know what you guys think. But overall, though, great improvement. I do like the addition of this uh, new UI that they implemented. And there was a screenshot of Spider as well. Like, like maybe they changed the way it looks or something. But I don't know. It looked kind of the same to me, to be honest. As far as like these dungeons goes, I think it looks the same. No, it does look smaller. Everything does look smaller. Oh my gosh, of course. The one time I showcased the team. Or maybe the, not the one time, but the first time I showcased the team. It fails because I didn't get the deep buff landed with my defense down. It's a 3%er, by the way. It's going to happen no matter what. I can't control that. Unless you have a ghost board on the team, that's the only way it's not getting resisted, right? Um, yeah, I can't do anything about the the 3% not land, uh, of getting it resisted. That just happens with any deep buff in the game. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so as far as the UI goes, uh... Everything just looks smaller. You think they did this to like save a little bit on the graphics of the game? You know, like graphics was like the one of the best things about Raid, where everything looks so beautiful. It still looks great, right? Every it just it seems everything looks a little bit pixelated, maybe. You know what? Let's try this. Because normally I, I like to play on low graphics setting. Let me just do ultra and see what if that changes anything. So right now it looks a lot cleaner. Whoa, look at this, guys. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look at other areas in the game real quick. Okay, it does look a little bit more uh, shadowy, a little darker. Ooh, way more details. More uh, Vignette as well. Alright, let's take a look at uh, this now and see how it looks. Okay, it's, it still looks great. Still kind of pixelated. I don't know. Is it just me? I think they started skimping out on the graphics to add this UI. I don't know. But yeah. 
Let's take one more look here. All right, what if I zoom in a little bit? Does that make it any better? It still looks great. You know, don't get me wrong. It still looks great. Just seems a little pixelated. <laughs> a little bit. And these like these debuffs are so small. I mean, of course you can see what it is, but you know, some people might have to squint to see that. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my free to play series. And if you guys enjoy my content, please make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video, and drop a comment down below as well. It would uh, help me out tremendously as far as the YouTube algorithm goes. And I did recently drop a cover of me doing a, a song and singing and playing the acoustic guitar. So if you guys want to check that out as well, I'll, I mean, it's probably on like my, my homepage right now. Like I have it basically pinned there if you guys want to see it. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and hope you guys have a great summon session and get exactly what you're looking for. I'm losing my voice at the moment still recovering from my cold but yeah i'm much better now much better now so thank you so much for watching once again guys and hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next video